So as part of the process of tuning up my Shapoko Pro, I'm cutting new spoil boards. And I measured the aluminum extrusions at the base of the machine, and they ended up being two and seven eighths of an inch across. And I was like, man, it's just short. I would really love to use a one, two, three block to set up that cut. But what I found is if you're using a track saw or just a circular saw with a guide, the curve of the blade will make this three inch cut perfectly fit. Start your dust collection. With all 10 boards cut out, I go to Carbide Create and draw a pocket that will act as a jig for milling the new boards and add the recessed screw holes. With the jig cut into the old spoil boards, I install the first of the new boards and start working on the holes. Of course, when you're drawing circles in Carbide Create, you have to remember to use radius, not diameter. Once that mess is all straightened out, it's just a matter of running the program, flipping the board and running it again, 10 times in a row. What you're left with is a spoil board that slots in perfectly and screw holes that line up exactly. Best of luck with your builds.